Vue 3 gives us developers access to Vue's reactivity library. And one cool thing we can do with this is create our own data store that we can use to create different sources of truth across our app. And as you can see by the length of this video, it's incredibly easy. So to set up our store, let's create a file called store.js inside of our source folder and import reactive from Vue. To create our state, we can create a constant called state and set it to a reactive object. And for now, let's just say name. And then all we have to do here is export our state. Then if we want to use our store, we can go to main.js, import our store, and then call app.provide and pass in our store. And if you want to learn more about the provide inject syntax, check out this video in the description. And then inside any component, we can inject our store in either the options API by defining an inject property and then passing in store, or in the composition API, where we import inject from view and then set a constant store to inject store. Then in our template, we can access our state and then our name property. Property. And that's it. We have a basic flow of our data store. But let's go back to store.js and make this a little bit more legit. And one great practice is to return a read-only value of our state. This is similar to Vuex mutations, where we only change our state in predictable ways. And these ways are similar to actions and mutations. In our custom store, the concepts of actions and mutations will be merged into one. While you can create your own naming conventions that follow Vuex or Pinia more closely, in our example, both are functions, so there's no real distinguishing between them. So let's create a function that resets our state to mat, and then a constant that changes our name to a new value. We'll add these to our export default. Then inside of our view component, we can call store.changeName or store.reset state, just like we would in any other data store. As always, there are pros and cons to this. The biggest pro is that it's really easy to implement without having to learn any other tools. Since this solution uses built-in functions in Vue 3, we can just expand our knowledge of reactivity to this new system. There's also a few options to make this design modular, where either we have one store that has multiple sub-modules under it, or we can even create multiple stores for specific pieces of functionality in our app. And then one of the biggest drawbacks is that we miss out on a lot of the built-in dev tooling that the popular data store libraries give us. Especially when working with more complex systems, debugging our DIY store can get complicated, or at least require some more setup on our end. While we could build our own dev tool console that takes takes away from the biggest advantage of our own store being quick and easy. So hopefully this video showed you a cool way that we can use reactivity. And if it did, please like and subscribe for more view content. And I hope to see you in the next video.